have audio on, right? Okay. So quiet. There it is. Hello, everyone. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. There's just one month left until the launch of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In this vast world that music. seamlessly connects the surface and sky, you'll be able to enjoy using your imagination to the fullest while exploring. It's not long until you can experience this unfamiliar Hyrule. I'm also very excited to see how you'll explore this world. Today, we've prepared the final trailer before the game's launch. He's looking clean cut. You got a new haircut. All right, then. Let's take a look. Please enjoy. There's no way this touches the 2017 trailer, but God, I hope it does. building Hyrule Market. Oh! Oh, that wasn't Hyrule Castle. That's straight up Ganon's castle? That was interesting. She was like lit up. Oh, we're so going underground, baby. What the fuck? Zelda. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Link. can do show us sell the gameplay do, do it not look away do it you witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world yo Hope. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Holy shit! Link! You must find me! Holy shit, dude! Alright, we're watching that again. We're watching that again. Holy shit! There's so much in there! Oh my god! 
Oh my god. Um Holy fuck, dude. All right, where's where's the where's the trailer? Do we have to just back this up? Uh okay, we got to just back this up until they release an actual trailer. It's a Friday. Oh wait, thirteenth? Yeah, the thirteenth is a is a Saturday. Enjoy. Bro. Alright, so Companion Companion Fighters, it looks like. Like you it looks like you can recruit somebody to fight with you. Link held onto a rocket and shot up into the sky. The minecart shit looks great. You are abso-fucking-lutely going underground. Like, there's no goddamn question about that. The platforming? The little, the little, like, fan platforms? There's jump puzzles! This is ridiculous. Ganondorf looks so fucking good, dude. It, it kind of looks like the Lost Forest is moved, or the Lost Woods is moved. That dude, this looks so cool. You gotta wait, wait. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna watch it through one more time, and then we're gonna start like cutting through this bit. I think that's Zelda. Just turn off my overlaying crowd control. No, 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 it's fine. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Link. That dodge is so fucking cool too. This is amazing. I'm I'm so stoked for recall. We're going to on the next watch. There's a little arm on that thing. Dude, actual fucking I know boss why fights. I am here. It's something only I can do. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. God damn, he looks so good. Okay. See, now that looked like Zelda, and that looked strikingly you similar to that alone. creature from before. Dude, I'm so stoked Please. to fight alongside Sidon. You are our final Wait, host. was that um Riju? What what's the what's the Gerudo girl's name? Art, I'm good, bud. That you can make that bar go away. Link! That doesn't get you caught in the stream. Find me. I'm perfectly capable of running this shit, bud. Um, all right. We have an actual link for a trailer now. We can watch it in slightly better quality. Now let's go a little slow mo here. Uh, I think we can skip ahead to after the title. So this is... 
This is Hateno, because you got Lanayru right above it, right? These three trees are the top, the first ridge on the bottom of Lanayru Mountains. It doesn't look like the town has changed too much. The The armor shop is still in the same place. The item shop is still over here. This all looks fairly the same. That's the dye shop. And then we've got um, Central Square. Is that a tower on the mountain? That is a different location, actually. Now that you say that, um, that is not where the tower in Breath of the Wild is. Let me pull up. Actually, let me change the category too. So let's pull up a map of Breath of the Wild real quick. Do, 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 do. Now, this, I can just do a slightly, just pop over this as need be. So yeah, we're, we're in Hateno right now, and there is a shrine there, but there is not a tower there, right? So these are the three trees that we see right here, and... That is where the tower is. So these towers are going to be in different places for sure. Now, Central Square. Is this Dueling Peaks? That's... That looks like Dueling Peaks, I'm pretty sure. And Kakariko would be right here. This whole... There's a lot of new land masses, like circular land masses. That's interesting. And it, I, I think I really like the idea that you're going to be rebuilding these areas. Like, um, Zeltek was pointing out these crates... And that, like, these areas might be where you, like, you drop rupees and supplies off and shit and start building these areas back up. All right, so this is... Now, that is Hyrule Castle that gets lifted. Weird. They made it look like it was going to be in the desert. So this is Kakariko. That's Impa's house right there. This is Kakariko Village. And it looks like they're rebuilding on top of some of this shit. I can't really tell. So there was a sh the shrines seem to be gone completely. Now we're in the Lost Woods, and this feels like it's in a different spot. Or maybe this isn't the Lost Woods. So Lost Woods actually doesn't have Zonai shit. Okay. I don't know that this is the trail the the castle that it shows in a second. So this is Hyrule Castle. I don't think this is actually Hyrule Castle. This has got to be like some other... This gets blotted out by a black cloud in the other trailers. So they're kind of trying to make it look like these are one and the same in the shot. But those are two very different things. This is actually... This is that thing that comes up in the desert. Because you see like square architecture here. And you see that on the edges of this, right? That's this structure. Everything's more, like, squared off. Whereas Hyrule Castle, everything is pointed. Like, every single piece has, like, a pointed architecture shit to it. Uh, I've not played Blasphemous. I think I own it. I wonder if that even... That's gotta be Ganon, or Ganondorf, right? Like... We can only assume. He does get his short hair back, though. Or is that Demise? 
Hold on. We we see his face for a second. Where's my There it is. We see his face for a split second. Oh, like barely a second. So I guess that is Ganondorf. He just reigns in the hair. And now here. This light starts emanating from Zelda. Okay? That's that's her light, right? She has that sort of power in Breath of the Wild. You actually see her is the slate lighting up? Is she holding on to the slate? Or is that her hand? No, that's her hand. So the Triforce of Wisdom is, is like activating as she falls. You actually see the Triforce lighting up. So the Triforce presumably is going to save her there. Zonai shit lighting up. Whole lot of holes in the dun in the desert. I wonder if we we're just gonna like go through those holes and end up in different spots in the underground. And this would be the underground. A lot of mine carts or mine tracks everywhere. The airship looks fucking dope. This looks like Rito, right? We've got feathers. On the sides here, this whole shit just looks real in general. I would assume this is us diving into the underground. And there's a really fucking cool wingsuit. Like, right here, he opens up a wingsuit. That also looks Rito. So... We're gonna have multiple types of flying vehicles, but then we're also gonna get wingsuits and our paraglider and there was like a not just a paraglider but like a actual like glider that you stand on it um so this is interesting we saw this in the other trailer it's like a it looks like a gotcha machine this is definitely zonai architecture We've got Hateno uh, Gate here. These enemies, though. This is... Okay, no, they are corrupted. So I was going to say, this seems like it's pre-corruption because they don't have things on their head, but I guess that is the thing on his head. They all have, like, weapon pieces on their head, which they're going to drop, presumably, when you beat them so that you can fuse... This is a construct weapon we haven't seen before. A construct staff. That's pretty dope. Okay. The land here more or less looks the same. Now, this... This is Sheikah technology, right? This isn't Zonai. This is Sheikah. This looks like the shrine. This looks like the elevator you come up the shrine in. So I wonder, the the little um, land masses with the green smoke look a little more Sheikah than Zonai to me, even though they have the green smoke. Okay, now this. I think this is like a corrupted Zelda or something. I'm probably wrong. Wait, is this a Zonai? This is Zonai. This is a Zonai. Um, can we get a picture? Of that one fucking God, it's this essentially. So, this, I think we're seeing this right here. I can't, I don't know where I can find this picture. But on this, that is what we're looking at, right? This is Princess Zelda over here. And this is the Zonai we're looking at. Maybe not that particular one, but this is absolutely a Zonai. I thought it was going to be Zelda for a minute, like transformed or something, but that's it. 
So giant construct. I think we've seen this dude before. We've got Hyrule Castle. Looks like it's been pretty restored. Zelda. Which is interesting because it's also like lifted we into the air. on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Now this is interesting too because whose voice are we hearing right now? will be Link. Who is this? It feels like this is Ganondorf. Look at the hand. Right? Like... And this is Gerudo. This is so weird. Do you think I'll start off with the Master Sword? I have to find it again. Uh, I think we'll actually get to that in a second. That's got to be Ganondorf. That's so odd. Link. Look at it. She's got a tear. She's got a tear. So there's one of the flying constructs, more of like a glider of sorts. What is he using here? Is this a sword with a shield on it? Oh my God. <laughs> Motherfucker put a royal shield on a royal claymore. <laughs> oh, dude, look. Okay. Before, when we saw these charges... Uh, when we saw the gameplay trailer, you could only hold three. This looks like he's got room for four more, potentially eight charges. So that's definitely something you upgrade, and you can use your uh, your vehicles for longer. So this is going to probably more or less replace stamina. It's like vehicle stamina. Uh, not only did he throw a shield on that, but he actually did a parry with it too. This dodge. What a good dodge. Look at this fucking enemy. What is this? Oh, is that a Goron? Is that a Goron attacking us? What if this is actually like some sort of trial? This isn't like an enemy so much as you, you're you going to get some sort of dash move. That's... So that is extremely the... Dude... This is the Goron move from Majora's Mask. This is that Goron spin from Majora's Mask. It's wrapped in chains, too. But that is absolutely a... That's a Goron wrapped in changed chains spinning at you interesting hits the wall and causes a giant explosion and he's actually opening up a pathway here i don't think this is an enemy i think this is just somebody fucking with link and being like you better get out of the way and he opens up a pathway for us I bet you we get some sort of charge attack from this Goron. Or maybe it's not an maybe it's not a Goron actually. But that's a Goron seal on it, isn't it? Cause it's it's like the um it's like the Goron Ruby, the uh the sacred stone. That's gotta be a Goron. Although it it starts to look like you see an eye here, so I'm not entirely sure. Do you mean a small Rudo that looks like this motherfucker? Not Rudo, Rito? I feel like you do. Healy, <laughs> hold on. That's a, that's a ultra handmade uh, carriage. 
What the fuck? So I wonder if you're going to be, like, moving villagers around once you settle a new area and shit. Oh, my God, dude. I think there's going to be way more, um, way more, like, management of Hyrule than we realize. Isn't that the kid at the flight range? There we go. That's, yes, you are correct. I figured, whoops, I figured he was in there somewhere. I just couldn't place it. I think, he, I think you're right. Recall looks dope. The rocket, dude. This fucking rocket. I love it. Look at that thing. I wonder... I wonder, though, if this is going to be... Like, something that we... God damn it. Interesting. So, I think that's the ultra hand move. Or did, oh, wait, no, it's fused. Is it fused to his hand or a shield? It kind of looks like there's a shield there. Yeah, okay, it's fused to it. He fused a rocket to a shield. That's what it is. He fused a rocket to a shield. It doesn't quite look like the Ultra Hand glue, though, which is weird. Because, like, normally you'd, you'd see the glue in between the two of them, and I don't see that. So I'm not actually entirely sure that it's fused. It might just be, like, a shield that you pick up. Or it's just the way that you hold a rocket. It does also look like it's going to explode, though. Because it's, like, getting greener the higher it goes up. So maybe you have to, like, detach from it before it, it explodes. I wonder if you can, like, maybe you can just fucking shoot it, you know? This I love. So it seems like... Either Link or this area is affected by low gravity. Wait, who's that? Who the fuck is that? There's a there's a Hylian over here. Hello? This minecart stuff looks fucking awesome. Back up a little bit here. So actually, again, with this, there's definitely like low gravity shit going on. I don't know that we've seen the blue sparkles like this before. I'm thinking that is what's changing the gravity. Because when he jumps, he's way floatier than usual here. And, like, I thought these were going to be fans, but these don't necessarily look like fans. Unless it's just that, like, these particular objects are imbued with, like, less gravity or something because they are Zonai rocks. But, like, he jumps to this one already with that low gravity. Again, I think this is somebody standing up here. kind of looks like they're moving. It could just be a construct, I guess. Now, down here, I see some giant skulls in the background. This is probably the same area underneath Gerudo Desert. Something else. It's kind of interesting, right? If we back up a little bit. So these lights, right? These lights 
are seen everywhere it is like Zonai architecture. That's something that we actually see back in where Zelda is. So she's in a Zonai building. So I'm guessing she is in that giant building that raises that has Ganondorf in it. Was something else shoots the dudes in the minecart? I think he's shooting an arrow. He's shooting that arrow. And then we hit him with the pole. Link hits him with this this extra long pole. This looks like a uh, a fused weapon that's extra long to be able to reach him. They so that's interesting. They're also in a fused minecart or in a ultra hand minecart. Right? They've got the jelly in there too. So I wonder if I wonder if the constructs use ultra hand as well. Okay, I fucking love this. <laughs> what is going on with this this weapon? So we're seeing the like the control stick again. My god, there's they're just riding a fucking talus, dude. We have like little kaiju battles here. This is amazing. This is so good. What is this? What is this though? He's just like swinging a little arm with a fucking like sharp stick on it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> like there's nothing going on over here. Okay, it might be like an electric wand or something. Like I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, that... That was a ruby on... A bow? It looks like he's wearing Zonai horns. Again, we're getting a better look at the charges, so he's definitely got room for eight battery charges on his belt now. Um, we don't have the Master Sword. In fact, we pretty much never have the Master Sword. So again, that looks like a... That's an Ultra Hand device, but I would assume that's made by... the enemy and not by us. We activate it. Freaking lasers everywhere. It's hitting... Is this like a dude that's carrying a bunch of fucking amber or choo-choo jelly? Can't tell. If it was choo-choo jelly, it would it would ignite. All right, this this beast looks insane. I'm very excited for this fight. I hope this is like a mid-air fight that we have to go through. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a um a goma of sorts, because we do see, I don't remember the name of the three-headed dragon, but we see the three-headed dragon at some point, too. So I wonder if this is basically Goma. This, this could be a little more crustacean-esque, though. Eh, it's a little long, maybe, to be Goma. And then our boy. It seems like he's teleporting in. Oh, wait, is that Ganon showing up? I feel like that's the first half of Ganon showing up. So Zelda I holding a tear. I am here. It's something. So it's not quite the amber relic of Skyward Sword, but it is a, it's a similar shape. Only I can do. Doesn't look like amber, though. Okay, so this is the... This is the body. Come to life, right? Because it's still withered away. This is that body come to life. Presumably the same one that's talking to Zelda and puts its hand on its shoulder. I'm, st I'm not entirely convinced that that's Ganondorf. 
that could be a Zonai that's sort of made to look like Ganondorf as like a red herring of sorts. If there's one thing I've learned about like, you know, a story trailer like this, they're going to be trying to throw us in the wrong direction as much as possible, right? Do not look away. You witness a... Damn, dude. Check out those Lynels real quick. So, okay, we're about to get to the Master Sword now. Those Lynels look fucking intense. They They do have weapons on themselves, too. All of their weapons, like, are more like antlers than anything. Okay. So I think this is us seeing the Master Sword getting destroyed and turning into that state that we see it in in, like, the uh, the promotional material, right? Because it is at full power right now. It is glowing, right? It's glowing with the power to seal evil. So it, it's being attacked by Calamity right now, which is why it's glowing. It glows in, the, in Breath of the Wild when you're attacking anything that's imbued with Calamity. So this is just, like, Calamity overtaking the Master Sword overtaking Link's hand. You can actually see it like eating his flesh. Like corrupting his hand. And now his skin is fucked. Okay. Let's see if we see any damage to the sword itself here. No. Well, maybe a little bit. If you, it kind of feels like we start to see the sword getting torn apart, maybe. Right in these last few shots. It could just be like black spots from that shit. Poor Fee, she deserves it. And then we properly see Ganon. So let me see those hands. Okay. Do you see the fingernails? That is not the hand that is laid on Zelda's shoulder. That's a different hand. So that is not Ganondorf. We can assume that that's going to be a Zonai. Right? So this this is maybe not Gerudo? No, this is Zonai. It's actually very similar to the to Majora's Mask. I wonder if if we're finally going to get like a reveal that the Zonai is the ancient tribe. Yeah, different hands. Definitely different hands. Different fingernails. Way more, way more, like, pointed. It goes well past the tip of the finger. I'm not sure if that's a ring on each hand. Well, just overall, there's, like, a device. So, And the arm, in general, the arm has got the design that's on Link's arm. Return of Agnim. And that is just not the same for this. Yeah, that is so not the same person. Okay. He's got the fucking... Is that a, is that a cape? Yeah, that's his cape, right? Oh my god, he's got the cape and everything. Dude's looking swole as fuck. Okay, so this... This is who we see. This is the shriveled beast, right? I feel like we can probably compare jewelry and see that it's definitely him. Where was that shot? Is that here? Yeah, the jewelry matches. The jewelry definitely fucking matches. This is the shriveled beast. 
So that was, in fact, Ganondorf. As if we really needed that kind of confirmation. Like, we more or less knew that. Or we assumed that. Now we know that for sure. That is fucking Ganondorf. Interesting that there's, like, really this focus on this. This gem in his head. A lot of focus on it. What is, what is going on with this? Is, so is this like the source of his resurrection? They really don't want us to just like get a good glimpse at what it is. Interesting. Okay. Good animation, like the, the the subtle movements in his jaw as he's screaming, like you can actually like it kind of moves a little left to right here and there. This is an entirely new enemy. It's like diving into nothing. Is this is this like a land shark diving into nothing? Are we Splatoon now? I wonder if that has anything to do with like the way ascend kind of like allows us to move into land masses. All right, and then we're back to this Rito. Okay, let's go! Now this. This fucking shot. Is this Zelda? The hair is long. Is this Zelda fused? So, okay, here's the tier. Is this Zelda fused with a Zonai? The shots are so similar. Maybe not. Where is that? No! She's got the earrings on. She's got more than the tears that she had before. Yeah, the nose does feel different. Maybe. What if we're doing something where it's like the Zonai became Hylians? And this is sort of like. A look at that change, that crossover. The hand also just feels like stumpy in general. Well, hey, we do have that fuse mechanic, right? What if, what if it, what if we begin fusing creatures together, people and creatures? And now you could assume, like the okay, the attempt here with the cut is to make us think that. The person we just looked at is capable of producing this sort of power. Again, I think you you go into these shots with caution at a point like this in this game's like the amount of story that Nintendo wants to give you right now. I think you don't believe that shot. This this is Ryuji, right? Is that her name? Look how much she's grown! Look at that little girl, she's grown so much. Dude, and this, okay, we're we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to fucking recruit people to fight with us. So I assume that like, you'll probably always get to have like, a little like group of, of uh, ragtag Hylians 
And then, like, in story moments, maybe, or, like, very particular boss fights, something, you'll get to you... pull in characters like Sidon. Are not alone. Like, this is so fucking cool. Link. So we've got basically all of the, the people that were left behind by champions. Where's... Where's uh, Daruk's kid, or whatever the fuck his name is? Okay, here's the three-headed dragon. It's very fucking cool that they're bringing this in. Like, the first boss in The Legend of Zelda. Okay, so... That is Zelda. Right? She's got the same headpiece, she's got the same necklace, the same earrings, but her ears are bigger, she's got more tears... Are we, like, powering up Zelda with the number of tiers that we collect? Final hope. This is not the same scroll from Breath of the Wild. I don't think. No, this is an entirely different scroll. So we're actually seeing like this game scroll, right? We've got, we've got Ganondorf. I'm trying to see if there, so this could be this person right here. is the only one facing them. It's the only one facing Ganondorf before his line of defense. It looks like they're Hylian. That could be Zelda. And this is definitely like Link leading the charge of, of new Hyrule over here. You can see all of the enemies have horns on them now. God damn, man. Oh, I'm so ridiculously excited for this. Link. You must find me. So, okay, that's it's interesting that they do that with that shot, right? And again, you know, they could be misdirecting us, but it's Zelda in the sky. Actually, maybe not even that high into the sky, because, like, this is Faron right here. She's, like, in line height-wise with the top of Faron. So it's not that high up. Um, Holding the Master Sword, she's already got some of her, her Zion stuff. So, like, she ends up with the Master Sword, maybe? The music, too, is just fan-fucking-tastic. All right, you guys want to watch it one more time? No more slow-mo? We're going to watch it one more time. And then we'll go back to Wind Waker. I'm in 1080, right? Hold on. Let me just... I'm definitely in 1080. Okay. No auto shit, just 1080, bro. Twenty nine days, Meebs. Twenty nine days. Starting to feel like the gameplay trailer we saw last week might have intentionally had old music in it to hide new music.
I do like the... They are absolutely vamping on the 2017 music, though. They knew what... They knew what they had to do with this trailer. I think they fucking delivered, man. I think this beats the 2017 trailer. I can't believe I'm saying that. Zelda, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Link. Oh, it is 100% a sequel, dude. 100%. That's not even a question. can do there's some backwards do not look away bits in the music you witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world specifically the word word revival so this is like this is the okay, old ganondorf go. coming back a previous ganondorf but oh you are i have chills alone. Final hope. God. Twenty nine days, guys. Link. Twenty nine days. You must find me. Thank you for indulging me. I cannot wait. Oh, my God. Um...